Here are most commonly asked scenario-based interview questions for a Java application support engineer, along with detailed answers. 1. Scenario. A user reports that a Java application is running slower than usual. How would you diagnose and address this issue? Answer. A. Monitor performance. Use tools like JVisual VM or JConsole to monitor JVM performance metrics. B. Check logs. Review application logs for errors or warnings that might indicate performance issues. C. Identify bottlenecks. Analyze thread dumps to identify any deadlocks or thread contention issues. D. Heap analysis. Perform a heap dump analysis to identify memory leaks or excessive garbage collection. E. Database performance. Check database performance and query execution times. F. Network latency. Evaluate network latency and bandwidth issues. G. Resource utilization. Monitor server resource utilization like CPU, memory, disk I, or O. 2. Scenario. A critical Java application crashes intermittently. How would you approach troubleshooting this issue? Answer. A. Check logs. Analyze application logs around the crash time for stack traces and error messages. B. JVM parameters. Review JVM startup parameters for potential misconfigurations. C. Heap dumps. Capture heap dumps on crash to analyze memory usage and potential leaks. D. Thread dumps. Collect thread dumps to identify deadlocks or long-running threads. E. External dependencies. Investigate external dependencies, for example, database, third-party services for issues. F. Resource limits. Ensure server resource limits like CPU memory are not being exceeded. G. Stress testing. Produce the crash in a controlled environment with stress testing tools. 3. Scenario. Users are experiencing frequent timeouts when accessing the Java application. What steps would you take to resolve this? Answer. A. Network latency. Measure network latency and bandwidth to identify potential bottlenecks. B. Server load. Monitor server load and resource utilization to ensure sufficient capacity. C. Application logs. Check logs for timeout-related errors or slow processing indications. D. Database performance. Analyze database performance and optimize slow queries. E. Thread management. Review thread pool configuration to ensure adequate handling of concurrent requests. F. Timeout settings. Verify and adjust application timeout settings, for example, connection, read, write timeouts. G. Performance profiling. Use profiling tools to identify slow-performing code sections. 4. Scenario. A recent deployment has caused a Java application to behave unexpectedly. How would you handle this situation? Answer. A. Rollback. Roll back to the previous stable version, if possible. B. Logs analysis. Examine logs for errors or warnings introduced by the deployment. C. Compare configurations. Compare configuration files between the working and failing versions. D. Code review. Review the recent code changes for potential issues. E. Database changes. Check for any database schema changes that might impact functionality. F. User feedback. Gather detailed feedback from users about the unexpected behavior. G. Testing. Recreate the issue in a test environment to identify the root cause. 5. Scenario. You need to investigate a memory leak in a Java application. What steps would you take? Answer. A. Monitor memory usage. Use monitoring tools to observe memory usage over time. B. Heap dumps. Capture heap dumps and analyze them for objects consuming excessive memory. C. Code review. Identify code sections that may be holding onto memory unnecessarily. D. Garbage collection logs. Enable and review garbage collection logs for clues about memory usage patterns. E. Profiling tools. Use memory profiling tools for example, Yorkit, Visual VM to track memory allocation.
f third-party libraries check for memory leaks in third-party libraries used by the application g optimize code refactor code to ensure proper release of resources and reduce memory consumption six scenario the application is failing to connect to the database how would you troubleshoot this issue answer a check connection settings verify database connection settings like url username password in the application configuration b database availability ensure the database server is running and accessible c network connectivity test network connectivity between the application server and the database server d firewall rules check firewall rules and ensure necessary ports are open e driver configuration verify that the correct database driver is being used f database logs review database logs for connection errors or related issues g connection pooling examine connection pool settings for misconfigurations or exhausted connections 7 scenario users are reporting data inconsistency issues in the application how would you handle this answer a log analysis review application logs for data related errors or anomalies b database integrity check database integrity and consistency using appropriate database tools c replication issues investigate database replication issues if applicable d data validation sure proper data validation and sanitization in the application e race conditions identify and resolve any potential race conditions in the code f transactional integrity verify that transactions are being managed correctly and are not left incomplete g user feedback gather detailed feedback from users to understand the scope and nature of the inconsistencies 8 scenario you need to set up monitoring and alerting for a java application what tools and steps would you use Answer. A. Monitoring tools. Use monitoring tools like Prometheus, Grafana, or New Relic. B. JVM metrics. Monitor JVM metrics heap usage, garbage collection, thread count using GMX exporters. C. Application metrics. Instrument the application to expose custom metrics, for example, response times, error rates. D. Database monitoring. Integrate database monitoring to track performance and health. E. Alerting. Set up alerts based on thresholds for critical metrics, for example, high memory usage, error rates. F. Dashboards. Create dashboards in Grafana or equivalent tools to visualize metrics. G. Logs integration. Integrate with logging tools, for example, ELK. Stack for comprehensive monitoring. 9. Scenario. The application experiences a sudden spike in traffic. How would you ensure it handles the load? Answer. A. Auto-scaling. Enable auto-scaling on the infrastructure to handle increased load. B. Load balancing. Use load balancers to distribute traffic evenly across multiple servers. C. Resource monitoring. Continuously monitor resource utilization like CPU, memory, I, or O to adjust resources as needed. D. Catching. Implement catching strategies, for example, in memory catching, CDN, to reduce load on backend systems. E. Rate limiting. Apply rate limiting to prevent abuse and ensure fair usage. F. Optimize queries. Optimize database queries and interactions to handle increased load efficiently. G. Stress testing. Conduct stress testing to identify and address potential bottlenecks. 10. Scenario. A third-party API integration is failing intermittently. How would you diagnose and resolve this? Answer. A. API logs. Check application logs for API-related errors and their frequencies. B. Network issues. Investigate network issues like latency, packet loss between the application and the API. C. API limits. Ensure the application is not exceeding the API rate limits. D. Timeout settings. 
adjust timeout settings to handle potential delays in API responses. E. Retry logic. Implement robust retry logic with exponential backoff for transient errors. F. API status. Monitor the third-party API status and subscribe to their status notifications. G. Alternative solutions. Consider alternative APIs or fallback mechanisms if the primary API is unreliable. If you people need more questions and answers like this, please check PDF version of this interview questions and answers. That PDF contains 60 most commonly asked scenario based interview questions and answers. In Java application support, engineer, interviews. I have provided a preview also, so you people can check preview of this PDF before downloading. Please check description of this video for a link to download. Here is some more only questions of that PDF. 11. Scenario. You need to implement a new logging strategy for the application. How would you proceed? 12. Scenario. The application needs to be upgraded to support a newer version of Java. How would you manage this upgrade? 13. Scenario. A customer reports that they are experiencing frequent authentication failures. How would you address this issue? 14. Scenario. The application has a memory leak that only appears under high load. How would you identify and fix this? 15. Scenario. Users are experiencing slow response times when accessing specific features of the application. How would you troubleshoot this? 16. Scenario. The application needs to handle file uploads, but users are encountering errors during upload. How would you resolve this? 17. Scenario. The application experiences sporadic high CPU usage. How would you identify and mitigate this issue? 20. Scenario. The application is experiencing frequent out-of-memory errors. How would you troubleshoot and resolve this? 21. Scenario. The application needs to be deployed across multiple regions. How would you ensure its availability and performance? 25. Scenario. Users report that certain features are not working after a recent code deployment. How would you handle this? If you people need answers for these questions, and if you people need more questions and answers, means please check PDF version of this interview, questions and answers. That PDF contains 60 most commonly asked scenario based interview questions and answers. In Java application support, engineer, interviews. Please check description of this video for a link to download. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.